So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the volume of some different shapes, a cone, a sphere, and a pyramid. Now, you all sort of can use these formulas, okay? You, don't to, you, do, not, you do not need to remember them. You just have to be able to use them. So for a pyramid, we're going to find the area of that base and times it by a third times the perpendicular height. Now, really important, perpendicular to that base means at 90 degrees, okay, not the height of the slant. Um, in the case of the cone, it is very similar. It is a third times that perpendicular height again, but it's the area, we already know the area this time, it's pi r squared. So that has been inserted into that formula. It's very similar to a pyramid. And then the sphere, well, this is a bit different. We need to find, it's hard to draw this, but from the very center of the sphere to the outside is the radius of that sphere. And it's four over three times pi times r cubed. Now the proof of these are, can be done with some calculus, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So we're just going to be practicing substituting into these formulas to see if we can find those volumes. So let's jump straight into it then with a few different examples. Um, let's start off here. We won't do all of these, but we can pick a few to have a look at. So let's jump in and look here at B. We're going to find the volume of a cone. So we have uh, R equals 5, and we have that height equals 12. So we don't need to remember the formula. Let's just jump straight back. A cone, remember, is a third pi R squared H. Okay, so a third times pi times r squared times h. So all we're going to do is we are going to substitute that in. A third times pi times 5 squared times 12 is all we have to do. So get your calculator out and plonk this into the formula and then uh, see what happens. And we get 314. Now the units were originally in centimeters, so this is centimeters cubed because it is a volume. Okay, let's uh, do one a little differently now. So let's have a quick look at H. We're going to find a hemisphere of radius five. So a hemisphere means a sphere that has been chopped into two pieces. Think about a hemisphere, like the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So um, we have a formula for a sphere and it is four over three times pi uh, times r cubed. Let me just check that. Yes, it is. Times r cubed. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that and we're going to divide the whole thing by two because we only want half of that volume. So we're going to do four over three times pi times five cubed to start with. So five cubed is 125 times pi. Now you could times by four and then divide by three to do four over three, or you could use the fraction button on your calculator. We're going to get that number divided by two we are going to end up with our volume as 262 centimeters cubed. Okay, now let's carry on. Let's do one more, right? Okay, let's do J. Let's do um, a pyramid. So a pyramid, we've got a rectangular base, which is eight by six. So that means the area of that base is eight times six, which is 48 centimeters squared. Okay, now we know the height is nine centimeters. So let's go back to our formula. Look, it's a third times A times H. So it's got to be a third times 48 times nine. And if we work that one out, we have got to, we are going to get 144 centimeters cubed. So hopefully that's helped you. You can see a good example there of how to work out the volume of a sphere, of a cone, and of a pyramid. Now, we can combine these things together, of course. So let's take a look now at this sort of ice cream shape that we've got here. If I want to find out the top, well, that's a hemisphere again. So we do 4 over 3 times pi times r cubed. And we're going to get that. And just like last time, we're going to divide the whole thing by 2. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out that cone. So if you remember a cone, we're gonna do a third times pi r squared times h, right? h in this case is gonna be 11. So let's write down those variables. We've already worked out r is, what well, we can see r is seven centimeters. h on that cone is gonna be 11 centimeters. So we're just gonna sub numbers in. Four over three times pi times seven cubed, all divided by two plus a third times pi times seven squared times 11. That's the complex sum we're gonna do on our calculator. Now, you can type this all out on one line of your calculator if you want, um, or what you could do is you could just do it in stages and then write down those answers. So. Um, I will work out them individually. That left-hand piece is 718 centimeters cubed. The right-hand piece, if I work that out, I am gonna end up with 564 uh, centimeters cubed. So if I add those two pieces together, I have a combined volume of 1,282 centimeters cubed. Okay, I hope that helps you to work out uh, how to find the volume of a cone, a sphere, or a pyramid.